Caucasian blackfish cooking flounder. I mean, don't look at it, it's black in color already. That doesn't mean I'm cooking, the fish is black. But the way we'll brown the spices in a pan, the fish becomes black. I caught this fish myself. No, I'm lying. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> All right, what we do is um, we gash the fish up. Take the head off if you don't like the head. I've got two fishes, one with the head on, one for you and one for you, one without the head. Um, I forgot my fresh lemon, so a bit of lemon squeeze in the gashes just to open the fish up. It becomes receptive in flavor. Now I'm going to cook the fish in this pan on electric, on hydro. You can do it at home um, because I'm grilling the fish. Um, you really don't need to reduce the heat because it won't take long to cook. In the wok, we'll make some um, a nice stir-fried vegetable, you can call them or, or roasted vegetables, okay? They can just sit there and cook by themselves while we get busy with our fish. Put some oil in here. I'll get there, don't worry. I'll get there. Okay, we just dust this in oregano, flour, paprika, some turmeric, um, and a bit of, bit of lemon salt. Lemon salt is really tasty. Okay? You can, it's got some raw in there too, by the way, and raw is very tasty. It becomes firm when you cook it. It becomes like a, like a little bread piece of wood. Okay, now we will just put the fish in there. I can't swap them over because I need heat here to cook the vegetables. Now, this should turn black in the bottom because the fish is white in the bottom, you can see that. Have a look, it's white in the bottom. And uh, what happens is the, the herbs will get burned, especially paprika, and add that bitter touch to the, to the meal, which some people like. And you can neutralize that with lemon juice if you want, if you don't like that. In the meantime, this is cooking. Okay, there you go. You can glaze them, you can roast them, maybe about five or six minutes. In the meantime, we check our fish. Yes, it's coming nice bright red, but eventually it will become dark in color. So, to give it a bit of a sizzle, now you can cook on hydro now, it is easy. Just that I haven't got much time and I couldn't heat the pan up. You need to put the pan there for about um, five or six minutes before. It'll become crisp on the top because there's flour in there and they'll keep the moisture and the taste inside. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you how Creole occasion came into being. It's a combination of many different cuisines and the people who came and settled in America and they just used um, trial and error and mixed cuisines each with each other and herbs and spices and got a Creole mix. Now, we will serve this fish a couple of minutes, maybe more for you. Okay, just slide it down like that. Okay, looks pretty. Put the oil on top for the glaze and your nice crunchy hot vegetables on the side and bon appetito. Ciao, ciao. See you next time.